What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you our first live narration of our new team here. Now, this team is pretty much just a clusterfuck of stuff that I've wanted to use for like the past few months, ever since X and Y was released. And now, of course, I know some of these Pokemon I've used before, like many of you have pointed out in the comments. Like for example, Durant and Nidoqueen, but I haven't used them in the 6th gen environment yet, so I feel like they'll be interesting to see how they perform here, you know? Because as much as you may not think so, X and Y and Black and White are actually two very different, drastically different OU environments. So it'll be very interesting to see how these guys do. Now, once again, this is the first iteration of this team. And because of the way that I'm going to be doing the team building from now on, I will be making separate videos for new teams. And those will be the ones that you can um, comment and suggest me builds. But for this, I'm just going to be adjusting it as I go along. I know this team lacks on a lot of stuff right now. We don't really have any stealth box set up. We don't have any defogger, no rapid spinner. That's already going to be bad for Thunderous and Togekiss. But you know what? Even, and, and, and not to mention the crazy sets that we have on here, you know, Alamomola, when's the last time you've seen one of those? And, and a freaking Assault Vest Chestnut. But, I mean, I think it's going to be well worth the dive into the OU metagame to see just how well these do. And so without further ado, man, we're going to do it right now. This is literally this team losing its virginity on camera. Straight up porno. You ever go to pure18.com? Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just gave you my favorite porn site suggestion. Let's go. Let's look for a battle, man. Oh boy, let's see how we do. We're probably gonna get trashed firsthand. Since I don't really understand these Pokemon too well, I won't know what their abilities or potential are in certain areas. So this is going to be interesting for both of us, you know, you guys observing. I don't this isn't connection to ladder server field with error, error socket hang up. Please try again later. What the hell does that mean? Cancel, look for a battle. What the hell's going on here? Turn the camera that way. I need to make you make sure you guys see me. Yo, you want some fucking Twizzlers? I love Twizzlers. What the hell's going on here, Showdown? Is there always gonna be some hindrance that stops me from testing out my new teams like last time? The freaking Floette thing, which I'm still mad at you guys for. You know, like, I love you with all my heart, but fuck you because no one told me in the damn comments I couldn't use that Floette. I'm still pissed. And I, I know some of you were saying you should just probably make it on Wi-Fi. I don't know. My, my motivation, because, you know, Showdown is really great for testing. And Wi-Fi, not so much because to find a Wi-Fi battle takes a little bit of time. And, you know, it's better to test against multiple people with multiple different strategies rather than just testing against one person constantly because it really lets you see how diverse your team is and how well prepared your team is for different threats. Although it's pretty much impossible for any team to be prepared for everything, you know? Something's going on with the Showdown servers, man. I don't know what's going on here. Let me, let me close Showdown and start it up again. Okay. Oh, wait, no, not Ubers. Definitely not Ubers. Oh, you. Team number two. Look for a battle. There we go. Okay, we're good. Here we go. All right. We got Gray Ninja, who's most likely going to come in first. So you know what? Let's go out there with Chestnut first. Okay, we got God Chomp. Okay, this is our Assault Vest Chestnut. Let's see how well we do here. Let's go for the. Um, let's go for the Wood Hammer. See how much damage it does off the bat. And that's a Mega God Chomp. Earthquake is resisted. It's good. All right, the wood hammer did okay damage. Not as much as I would have liked, but it did okay damage. So let's go into our Togekiss here because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're immune to the Dragon Claw. That's mighty fine with me. Let's go for the. Let me see. At this point now, what does he think I'm going to do? What would Garchomp have? Does he have Stone Edge? Let him go for a Stone Edge. Oh, it's Poison Jab. Okay, that's fine. Togekiss took that really well. I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised by that. Okay, so he just hit us with the um, poison jab. So I'm thinking that this is a great chance for us to go into our Durant here. Oh, nice. He predicted that shit really nicely. Okay. That is a-okay. Let's go for the, um... Let's see. We can go for the Iron Head, and that'll hit... That'll hit a good, a good amount of his Pokemon, but we can also go for the X's or... He's most likely going to bring in Talonflame, though. I see that happening. Wait, why didn't we go into Alamomola? It takes these hits. It's supposed to take these hits. That's what your purpose is, Alamomola. Whoa, whoa, you took a lot of damage from that. What the hell's going on here? Go for a Skull. 
and no burn. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> okay, even though I know it doesn't really matter because this thing has natural cure. Let's go for a knockoff now. Uh, oh, and we knocked off his berry, so no more recovery from this bitch. Oh, man, maybe the burn wasn't really what we needed because now he's going to be able to heal off his damage with the um, horn leech, and he's going to be doing a lot of damage with that shit. Might as well just go into... He might just be going for the Will-O-Wisp here, so... Probably have a better... We probably have a better... Uh, he's probably gonna go for another Horn Leech, actually. So, you know what? Let's just go for Durant right now. Please don't go for the Will-O-Wisp. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is horrible! Okay. Togekiss, you gotta come in there. You gotta come in there. Shadow Claw. Okay, we can take those. No problem. Um... Let's see here, let's see here. Let's go for a heal bell to help Durant out. Or should we? In fact, let's go for... Hmm. At this point, what is he thinking now that I have Togekiss in there? He's probably... He's probably going to go into maybe his, um... Nah, I don't see anyone that would want to take a hit from this guy. He's going to stay in it. He's going to stay in most likely. He's probably going to stay in. So you know what? We should probably just go for the wish. Because at this point, I don't see him willing to lose any of his Pokemon. And I gotta remember that Heal Bell Togekiss is not that common. Even though it... I, I wouldn't say that it's common to where you see every Togekiss with it. So he probably doesn't expect me to have the Heal Bell here. So you know what? Let's go for the Heal Bell now. Since the Burn is going to do... I think the Burn's gonna... Well, it's not gonna finish him off this turn. But yeah, oh, there we go. The Burn finished him off. Great. Okay. That works out fine with me. We got the Heal Bell off. Everyone's healed up. We still got Durant, who pretty much outspeeds a lot of people on this team. They're probably gonna go for the Ice Beam, so let's go there for a Thunder Wave. Damn, Greninja! That thing is strong, man. Okay, I can fuck with it. Let's go for Thunders. Oh man, Thunderous, though. Is it worth it to lose Thunderous to Greninja, even if we manage to get a Thunder Wave off on it? Yeah, that's worth it. Greninja is way too fast for our, for this team to be okay with that thing. Oh, Max! Let's go, baby! These Twizzlers are giving to me- Oh, let's go. Fuck it. We're going ham. We're going ham now. Probably gonna go into Garchomp now. Go for the Thunderball. Hit this thing. I love Thunder. <laughs> Holy shit, Thunderous is awesome! Well, if he, if, if he had gotten, if he hadn't gotten Power Hats, then obviously I would have lost Thunderous. But I mean, the fact that it was able to hit that Greninja. My team previously, as you guys have seen, it doesn't really have an answer for Greninja. Greninja is so fast. Base 1, 2, 3 speed. And then it's base 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 2, one of those. Greninja is really, really fast, man. Now we have Hidden Power Ice. We can hit this bitch, kill the Garchomp, no problem. Is this why Thunderous was banned? Like, is this why he was banned? Because... It makes total sense to me. This thing is a fucking threat. Oh man. Okay, so now he's got his talent flame in there. Let's see what Amomomomomomomola can do with this thing. Takes that hit really nicely. That's good. Oh, and I got burned. Great. Everyone's getting status ailments on him in this battle. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. Let's go for. Uh, Let's go for a wish. No, 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 no. Let's go for uh, a knockoff. You know what, Almamola? It is bulky, but I don't know. It's not taking these hits as well as I thought it would, considering that it has so much HP and defense. You know? I don't know. I mean, maybe my expectations are too high, but this thing isn't doing what I thought it would be. Maybe I should have just gone for a Scald there. <laughs> Maybe I should have. I probably should have just gone for a Scald there. That was a dumb move on my part. Alright, well, whatever. We can hit this guy with Thunderous. And I can resist the Brave Bird, so you know, it'll be fine. Let's go for that Thunderbolt. Yep, that's fine. Talonflame dies now. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Conkle Derp. Hmm, Conkledur, 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 what do you have for me? Should I be keeping my Thunderous alive for Azumarill? It wouldn't really matter because Azumarill is going to KO Thunderous anyways with the Aqua Jet, so what's the point of 
What's the point of saving the Thunderous for that in the first place? The real answer to Azumarill would be Chestnut. So you know what? Okay. Just stay in there and go for the Thunderbolt. Just do some new, real solid damage to this guy. Go for the knockoff. Totally fine with me, bro. And um, we do have our uh, Nidal Queen left. Yes, yes, Nidal Queen. Go in there. Now, I know that in the comments of the last video, of the team building video, some of you guys were saying, yo, dude, get rid of the freaking, um, get rid of Thunderbolt and just put Sludge Wave on. I am definitely contemplating that because the options, I mean, the reasons why you guys gave me it, the reasons you guys told me to do that made a lot of sense because of the stab and the fairy thing. But I want to just see, because, you know, having Bolt Beam, that's such a great option. You know, all these options are great. Earth Power, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, those are incredible options. Nidal Queen's coverage is one of the best, so I don't know if I want to give up one of those yet, but we'll see. That Conqueror is most likely a subtle best, and I still managed to live that, man. Not bad at all. Alright, now we're going to hit this guy with the Thunderbolt. And we are... Ooh! Oh, and we... You see Nidal Queen taking those hits. Taking those damn... Oh, oh wait, oh. oh. <laughs> that double aqua jet. Okay, that's fine. Just not assault vest. What's up? Get hit with this wood. Get hit with the wood. Remember, we made this chestnut so that well, chestnut naturally is faster than Azumarill. All that, wait, why does Azumarill have rocky helmet? Oh, whatever. Anyways, that was an interesting game. The team seemed to do relatively well, but of course, that's not going to mean anything really. We have to make sure that we see this team in real action. So. We're gonna go for another one, but so far, um, I, I'm liking the way this team is turning out, man. Can't wait to see it in further battles. In terms of like real criticism, of course we're lucky that there weren't any Stealth Rocks on the field, and if we went against an opponent who was really, really serious and bought Stealth Rocks, it wouldn't be a good move. But um, let's just go for another one, I'm not gonna change anything yet. I'm gonna keep using this team until I see some really, really obvious flaws. But right now, the, the main flaw I can see is the fact that Amamola is not really taking those hits as well as I thought it would. Anyways, see you in the next video.